what's happening and welcome back to our channel. Speaking from an imaginative perspective, having solar panels that charge your solar cars could be the greatest invention of the 21st century. You would hypothetically never need to charge your cars anymore and the free solar power, which also happens to be as green as it gets, would charge up your vehicle for you. Well, it just goes to show you that these solar powered Teslas can never die as you would be driving forever. Number 5. Why Solar? The energy source is free and in abundance and this would essentially provide customers with a car that never stops refueling. This should have been a dream come true, especially for people who live in sun intensive areas where they experience loads of sunlight during the day. But no matter how good this entire thing might end up sounding, the practicalities have not let this idea come into practice. Number 4. Are solar panels on cars feasible? An electric car's roof, according to experts in the field, contains around 3 to 5 square meters of flat area. Even at high noon, solar panels produce only 200 watt hours per square meter. With that amount of power, today's most efficient electric vehicles such as the Hyundai Ioniq and Tesla Mod 3 could only go 2 to 4 miles in an entire hour. Most people could walk more quickly. When compared to charging from the wall in your garage, the cost of the panels and electronics, R&D and assembly would never pay for themselves during the life of the car. Even if you were to hypothetically cover the entire accessible vehicle into a layer of solar panel, even then there won't be enough solar power for the driver to solely be dependent on the sun's energy. Number 3. Solar Panels on Car Roofs According to Musk Elon Musk, the CEO of Tesla, claimed in 2017 that he pushed his engineers to investigate into incorporating solar cells into the Model 3, but they decided it wasn't worth it at the time. For instance, math makes it extremely tough. Elon Musk hinted that solar roofing for the Tesla Model 3 may be a possibility, but subsequently pulled it back and explained why. Putting solar panels on the car itself, not that helpful, because the actual surface of the car is not that much and cars are often inside. The least efficient place to put solar is on the car. Number 2. Now what? But things have changed in the last 4 years. Musk said that Tesla's upcoming electric pickup truck would feature a solar roof option that will provide 15 miles of range each day after the introduction of the Cybertruck. On Twitter, Musk stated it will be an option to add solar power that generates 15 miles per day, possibly more. Would love this to be self-powered. Adding fold-out solar rings would generate 30 to 40 miles per day. Average miles per day in the United States is 30. Number 1. Other companies working on similar projects That isn't to say that no one else is working to achieve the unattainable. Soto Motors is a German business that intends to create automobiles using solar panels. Last year, Toyota revealed that Panasonic solar roofs will be available on future Prius hybrid automobiles. The Karma Rivero, a Tesla competitor, has a solar roof as an option. Modern solar panels, according to Wired, are inefficient, converting just 15-20% to 20 of the energy that reaches them. So after 8 hours of direct sunlight, the Rivero solar roof will create enough energy to travel 1.5 kilometers. To put things into perspective, charging the Tesla Model 3 from a wall socket for 8 hours will give you the projected range of 200 miles or more. Lightyears, which happens to be a German startup, made new weights using their innovative minds. They were basically a team who participated as the solar team Eindhoven, a group of engineering students from the Technical University of Eindhoven, Netherlands, who had been competing in the World Solar Challenge with their Stella and Stella Lux, who had brought the entirely new concept of energy-positive solar cars, which means they can produce more energy what they use up. 
they decided to transform their experience creating solar vehicles for the race into a company that builds solar cars for customers after they were fairly successful in the competition. They launched their first automobile, the Lightyear One, last year. The specifications for the electric vehicle were outstanding, but the price was a tad too much. Nevertheless, the creation of such a car might lead to advancements in solar integration in automobiles, which has been restricted thus far. Lightyear is launching its first two research spacecrafts in order to put its solar energy to the test. SunPower's Maxion solar cells were installed on the roof of a Tesla Model 3 and a Volkswagen Crafter LCV, which could essentially open doors for a formal introduction of solar roofs on the Tesla. Whether the stream becomes a reality depends on how well developed the solar panels end up being. Since you can't expect the sun to give away more sunlight, the only way through here is if you improve the technicalities of the solar panels being used which kind of happens to be a separate industry, but both of them are deeply interconnected over here. But let me know what you guys think about the possibilities of solar-powered cars being the future for transportation. Sound off in the comments below, and while you're doing that, don't forget to leave us a like, subscribe to our channel, and hit that bell icon if you haven't done so already. And with that, I'll catch you guys later in another video. Bye now.